with the world being a stage and Donald Trump getting a huge spotlight most recently with this Mar-a-Lago controversy. And let's actually take a look here at one of these articles referring to it. From this NPR.org headline, Trump says FBI agent searches Mar-a-Lago home in Florida. And this took place on August 8th. Of course, August being the 8th month of the year. And you have, your, of course, the 8th day. So you have your 88. You split the 88 in half. You get your dual 33s with Freemasonry. But let's take a look here at some of the contents. States here. Former President Donald Trump said on Monday that FBI agents had searched his Mar-a-Lago club and residence in Palm Beach, Florida and opened his safe. The FBI... Department of Justice declined to comment, although Eric Trump said Monday that he was told the search was related to a possible mishandling of government secrets. The Justice Department is known to be investigating after the National Archives retrieved White House records from Mar-a-Lago. So again, this is something I believe set in the stage where they're trying to come after Trump and basically as the underdog, I, I believe... I don't have, I'm not privy to the script, but I believe this is setting up coming to the 2024 elections where this underdog coming under attack with Donald Trump being placed back in a position of so-called power as president of the United States. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I don't have a crystal ball, but I believe when they spotlight stories like this with Donald Trump and he's been, of course, out of so-called office for a, for a while, for this to pop up in the mainstream media, I believe it's setting something up. And let's continue on here. And moving forward to August 22nd, it states here, Trump's legal team asked for a special master. And I find it interesting, special master, almost like in Freemasonry, to go through Mar-a-Lago evidence and determine if some should be returned. And again, with all these news stories, a lot of people like to downplay it, but the numbers are very key and very important. Let's scroll down here and take a look. And as you see in this paragraph, that you're going to see that it's just a masonically coded news story where it says Trump in the new filing also asked for more detailed receipt of what was removed from Mar-a-Lago. That request, if granted, would add to the two receipts the FBI already provided to Trump's team describing 33 items seized. So again, the key here is a 33. And again, I said it earlier, the people that play down the numbers game the 33, either they're very ignorant or they're gatekeeping. Because this is very important. I'm going to show more connections with Trump and the 33. And before moving forward, I should mention also with Mar-a-Lago, you have the Mar, the Mar backwards in reverse is Ram. Just like you see in this astrological chart with, again, Ram or Mar in reverse. And to set the stage with the Donald Trump deception, with Newt Gingrich here on Fox News talking to Bill O'Reilly, he tries very hard to separate Donald Trump from the rest of the Republicans, rest of the politicians on the world stage, basically stating he's not a Freemason. And let's take a listen to Newt Gingrich in his own words. Uh, and now they're faced with a very real prospect of Donald Trump becoming the leader of the party, and it absolutely drives them crazy. Uh, they just cannot Why? imagine sharing. Well, because he's an outsider. He's not them. He's not part of the club. He's uncontrollable. Uh, you know, he hasn't been through the initiation rights. He didn't belong to the secret society. Uh, and again, that's part of the deception that Newt Gingrich is trying to paint a picture that Donald Trump has announced heard again. We're going to get back into the numbers game. And this is more recently with CNN talking about, again, Donald Trump and the whole raid on Mar-a-Lago. And again, the numbers game. Take a listen to what it said here. The Trump himself said, he said, Essentially, Barack Obama did the same thing. He said, quote, President Barack Obama kept 33 million pages of documents. How much of them classified? There you go. The 33 once again with this news story. And it reminds me going back in time when it comes to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, the so-called debate in 2016 for U.S. president. Again, the 33 in plain sight. You get a subpoena, and after getting the subpoena, you delete 33,000 emails. So again, the 33, and I know people are going to say, oh, that's 33,000 emails. But when it comes to numerology, the zeros mean nothing. So you have, again, your 33 in action, in this case, the dual 33s 
in plain sight. And also, I should mention, when it comes to Trump, going back in time, his family name is Trump, as you see here in numerology is 33. And just take a look here from this one TV show. And they're basically ragging on Trump as his surname, his family surname going back in time was Trump. And again, the 33. And also when it comes to Clinton as well, with Hillary Clinton, Clinton being 33. So basically you have two 33s facing off against each other. And how far they go with the 33? Let's take a look here at Ivan, who many call Ivanka. But I call Ivan. Take a listen. And again, during this one late night talk show with David Letterman. By the way, Letterman being 33 numerology. Let's take a listen to what is said here. My brothers and I uh, work for him. We do anything really pertaining to real estate. Right. So we have 33 projects that are going up all over the world. So people deny Trump, his family. They're nothing but a bunch of Masons. You're not going to make it on top of this world stage unless you're a Mason. That simple. And take a look at Trump with Melania. And right there in plain sight, the square and the compass of Freemasonry in the White House. Again, signs and symbols rule this world. And they, they obviously communicate through signs and symbols. And that gets into Space Force with Donald Trump, as you see here. And this is basically the vector symbolism, as we all seen in Star Trek going way back. In time here you see William Shatner but again the similarities but the importance of the Chevron itself and which is used by all the so-called space agencies throughout the world as you see here with Roscosmos with Russia and the Chevron symbolism it gets down to Chevron is 33 numerology now again the whole Masonic connection when it comes to Trump and all these former presidents take a look here at this Space Force hat and what do you see here Space Force and it looks like a space shuttle and interestingly enough how the flames are curtailed to the side but again Masons love to flip things around and take a look here this is what the public sees and this is what they see the horned deity of Baphomet you see the two eyes, the face, and the basically the torch, just like you see here when it comes to Baphomet. Basically, one of the same. They're not going to tell you with words who they worship, but they put in plain sight, definitely. And also, I should mention the Baphomet symbol here, as I mentioned many times with Crowley. As you see, all the translations for signs and symbols. And here's Baphomet and the Baphomet symbol. Let's take a look here going back to the 70s with Gerald Ford. And again, signs and symbols in plain sight. Get a little bit of a zoom in here at the tie. Same exact thing. All these so-called presidents, they're all on the same team, the same club. Just like you see here with these two Grand Sovereign Commanders on their hats to sign for Balfam in plain sight. So again, when it comes down to all the signs and symbols, People that deny that Donald Trump is a Freemason. It's all in plain sight for all to see. And there's no doubt about it. So getting back to the whole story with Mar-a-Lago in this so-called controversy in the 33. I believe Trump will be put back into place in 2024. I don't have a crystal ball. Once again, we'll have to wait and see. But I find it very interesting. Everything that's happening in the world stage, everything that's happening with Joe Biden, and people's so-called lack of faith in Biden, and of course Trump being very controversial, very divisive, I believe it's the perfect opportunity to put Donald Trump back into play. We'll have to wait and see what happens. There's many twists and turns in the world stage, but again, with this coming out most recently, it's becoming almost the end of 2022, going into 2023, it definitely appears they're setting the stage for Donald Trump to return as president in 2024.